All right, welcome back. So let's go ahead and set up the part before we create our first machining operation. Now, if you see your part being pink from the previous video, all you need to do is to come over here under the home tab and select clear colors right here. That will clear all the colors. So anytime you make any movement for your geometry, your surfaces or your solids, it's gonna turn pink like that just to show you that you've done some kind of movement, okay? Or either copied something or moved something like that. So all you need to do is select clear colors and that will go away. Now go to machine and select mill and default. Let's go ahead and expand the mill properties and select tool settings. Under program, call it program number six and let's go ahead and select all the options on the right like we do for all the exercises. Go ahead and select stock setup and make sure top plane is selected and rectangular shape is selected. Now select display and I like to always put fit to screen as well. Now, it doesn't matter what you want to select if you want to have a solid or a wireframe. Uh, I showed you solid in the last exercise, so we'll keep it at wireframe. Now, there's no right or wrong way of how you do this, whether you want to select all your entities or just type in 5x5x2 five by five by or to come over here under either all entities or all solids. Now, if you select all solids over here, that will automatically detect that it's a 5x5x2. Five by five by and the same thing if you select all entities, all entities meaning all the geometry and they're still going to be five by five by two. So you can do this or that. Now there is no surfaces, so there's no use of using the all surfaces button. You can use the bounding box if you want to create a bounding box as well. All right, so make sure it's a five by five by two and select OK. And there's your box. You can see that the wireframe, uh, there's a red around it. That means that is your stock also, the stock and the wireframe are uh, mixed in together that's why you see it as red and blue all right so that's that's all that it is to setting up your part you don't need to have any extra material i'm not worried about facing the part or machining around the part at all all i want to show you guys is how to set it up and machine in three different planes using the fpm mill and the fpm drill so we'll get started with that in the next session 